Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 18.1 variation. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 18.1 you need to describe the terms variation, continuous variation and discontinuous variation, investigate and describe examples of continuous and discontinuous variation, describe mutation and identify factors that increase rate of mutation. For extended, you also need to describe the term gene mutation and state sources of genetic variation in populations. The term variation refers to the observable or phenotypic differences between individuals of the same species. Some phenotypic variations like hair color, blood group and gender are controlled by genes, while others are caused by environmental factors like climate, physical activity and diet. For example, by lifting weights you can become more muscular and by eating more, you're likely to accumulate fat. Some variations are caused by a combination of genes and the environment. For example, an individual who inherits the predisposition to be tall will only grow up to be so if they have access to the right nutrition during childhood. Variations between organisms of the same species can be continuous and discontinuous. Continuous variation results in a range of phenotypes between two extremes. Examples include body length and body mass. There are all possible intermediates between tall and short and heavy and light. You don't simply fit into one category or the other. Continuous variation is always influenced by both genes and the environment. For example, a tomato plant may possess the genotype for large tomatoes, but may lack the water, minerals or sunlight needed to produce them. Discontinuous variation, by comparison, results in a limited number of distinct phenotypes with no intermediates. Examples include eye colour, the human ABO and AB blood groups, and seed colour in peas. Discontinuous variation is usually caused by genes only, meaning it cannot be influenced by the environment. For example, it's not possible to change your eye colour by altering your diet or exercise habits. You need to be able to investigate and describe examples of continuous and discontinuous variation. Start by identifying a range of continuous and discontinuous characteristics, such as eye colour, hair colour, height, body mass, shoe size, and whether or not an individual can roll their tongue. Create a data collection table. Select a group of people, the larger the sample size the better, and collect your data. Group the data into categories. For characteristics like eye colour, this is as simple as counting how many people have brown brown, blue and green eyes. But for discontinuous characteristics like height, you'll need to create your own data ranges. Next, plot your data on a graph. The data for eye colour, hair colour and tongue rolling is categoric and should therefore be plotted on a bar chart with spaces between the columns. The data for height, shoe size and body mass is continuous or numerical, so should be plotted as a histogram where each of the blocks touches the next. Interpret your data. Some frequencies for each data set will be larger than others. For example, you might notice that significantly more people have brown hair than blonde. For continuous variables like body mass, there may be a normal distribution, provided your sample size is large enough, whereby only a small number of individuals are particularly heavy or light, and the majority are clustered around the middle of the range. Finally, you need to know about mutation. So mutation is genetic change. It's the primary mechanism by which new alleles, or or variants of genes are formed and therefore leads to the broadening of variation within a population over time. The rate at which mutations occur is influenced by a variety of factors, including exposure to ionizing radiation like X-rays and radioactive compounds, UV radiation from sunlight and certain chemicals. For example, many of the substances found in tobacco smoke are mutagens that can lead to cancer. For extended, you need to describe gene mutation as a random change in the base sequence of DNA. As we learned in topic 17.1, the base sequence of genes determines the structure and function of the proteins they code for. This means that mutations result in the development of new traits or characteristics. Now mutation isn't the only cause of genetic variation in populations. The division of chromosomes by meiosis, random mating, and the random fusion of gametes during fertilization all result in the creation of new and unique combinations of alleles and thus new phenotypic characteristics. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 18.1, variation. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription and I'll see you next time for topic 18.2, adaptive features.